Hey y'all, I just wanted to give y'all a little tour of my soap making room. I had one posted on my last video and then my cousin moved in with me and the door opened by itself. Okay, so my cousin moved in and I turned this room into his bedroom, but he moved out so I put it back as my soap making room and uh, I have to say I missed it and I'm happy to have it back and I just want to give y'all a little tour of it because it's expanded into other stuff as well so I just want to show y'all okay so when you walk in okay so from the back door that's my kitchen over there if you come this way into here over here I have my essential oils keep those in a dark place and on here I have my scented oils in here and I kind of have them in a certain order that's why they're scattered and those bottles are some bulk scented oil that I got and then down there are some more scented oils. And then down here are my pictures for making candles and my molds and my votives. Uh, now all my molds are here because I have some that are making right now. And those are some tart. Um, hey, Pug. Those are some tart molds right there. So yeah, and over here are some incense because you know I can't do anything without incense. Yes. So and then my mirror. Sup. And then over here, when you first walk in from there is my table and right here is where I have the microwave for melt and pour soaps and then this is my scale for the homemade lye soaps and this is basically the melon department <laughs> this is where I keep my envelopes and stuff like that and then over here we have spatulas and spoons and whisk and these are some of the soap cutters right there some spoons uh, this is a lotion bar that I use and over here, oh, say hi, this is Molly. This doll was given to me, and someone was trying to use her, hi precious, to harm me, but she doesn't want to cause harm. So now look at her, she's here. She's got her Kool-Aid, and she's got her Twizzler, and her Rice Krispie Treat, and she didn't like being here by herself, so I gave her a Tweety Bird, and I keep a nightlight on for her. But this is Molly, y'all. Say hi. Over here are some orders already completed. Right here is some orders. This area here, orders got to be mailed out. Here is some calendula oil that I have making, which is really good for soap making. And then some more products that I use for soaps and candles. And then in here I have all my little dilly dads right here. Can't have enough of those. Empty drawer. And then down there I have, I can't open it because stuff is here, but I have mostly my permanent markers and ribbon. And this should be in there. So yeah, these are orders that I gotta pack up right there. And then up here is basically all my measuring cups. Glass is the best to use when it comes to making soaps. So I got measuring cups. And then right here, bath bombs and stuff like that. Bubble bars are best here. And all the products that you need for soap and bath making and bubble bars and all that good stuff right there. And then down below the table are the rest of the stuff down there. Over here is all my wax. So there's that is soy wax right there. And this is a wax slab. This is recycled wax that I use on my own stuff. But in there is, are the um, slabs of wax and this is soy wax. That's a pug. So yeah, that's what's all under there. Over here are some almond oil, olive oil, SLSA and SLS, which is for so I mean for bubble bars and stuff. And um, glycerin. And there are some already made stuff for my orders that I have. They're setting and they're drying. I make them when they are ordered. And then I let them dry. That's why it takes about a week for you to get your order. And some of the herbs and stuff that I use. And this is dragon's blood because I use real dragon's blood in my dragon blood stuff. Here's some flaxseed oil that I use in my doggy shampoo. Then there's some more oils up here and flavorings. Avocado oil, sunflower oil, coconut oil, bran oil, safflower oil, beeswax, which I use for the lotion bars and lip balms. And right here I have molds. Not all of my molds, but a good majority of them. Because like I said, I have some already being made. That shelf is empty because I have them full in the kitchen. And in here is where I keep, right here, is where I keep all my colorants and stuff like that. Gloves, always a plus. These are the jars for my candles that are empty because I make them upon ordering. 
Now we tend to have an order, okay, and then here is some um, bath bombs and measuring cups and some more molds and stuff like that. Now we tend to make orders, like whenever I make this one, we got an order yesterday, I sent it out today, of um, this bath bomb, I end up with these. These in turn become free samples that I send out to, um, oh, this one smells so good. So these in here will end up being all free samples that will be sent out because I make everything fresh. And that too. So yeah, that is what we got going on here. So I just wanted to show y'all, that's my big ass TV for when I'm playing music. So I just wanted to kind of show y'all my soap making room. Uh, this right here is not a blow dryer, it is a heat gun to seal the plastic around the bath products. I tried sending them out without plastic on it and it just does not work. So that's what that is, and that's the plastic. Air conditioning because it gets hot. Chair to chill. This is the bag I use to take all the packages to the post office when they fit. But yeah, this is about all that's going on in here. That is my room for soap making. Yep, got some flowers there too. That's it. Alright guys, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Thanks for watching and as always, blessed be. Bye, Molly.